Shoes, running shoes for Spartan Trail OCR Racing. Dale's review, as amateur as it may be, it's still good because you know, I've raced my share of, of uh, Spartan races and have a pretty good feel of some of the different shoes to wear. Uh, one of my favorites is Ultras. I've used Ultras. Uh, these are my dirty ones. My, uh, I think these are the Mountain Kings, but the, the King MTs, Ultras, Spartan sponsored ones. Love these shoes, fit like a glove. Uh, they've got that zero drop. They got great bottoms for not only gripping on the walls uh, like Olympus, but also climbing up the rope. Good uh, traction through the mud, on hills, through the water. Great drainage. Uh, they got drainage holes right in the bottom of the shoe. It's really designed a great Spartan shoe. I don't know why they sunsetted them. Even uh, with the Velcro strap to help, you know, with keeping the shoe strings tight if you're using strings. Uh, but they've sunsetted, so I don't get to use those no more. So I've had to use like Ultra Superiors, and then uh, I've tried these Ultra Lone Peaks. These are the Lone Peak 6. I used these during the Fayetteville Ultra. My feet fell horrible which don't really know the difference much between, uh, they're pretty close to the these uh, King MTs. But for whatever reason, when I was running in these, my feet hurt. They uh, pretty soft on the bottom. Don't necessarily have a rock guard in them at the bottom. So uh, I've tried these ones, the Lone Peak 6, and went very happy with them. Even though they drain good, they got good traction, they climb ropes really good. For whatever reason, my knees just felt painful when I ran, but when I walked, they didn't. It was just really the chemistry of the shoe. So I went back to a couple other choices. I went back to the, the Spartan shoes that I had, I got a, uh, quite a few of them because every time you race, you get like $50 off. So these you typically get for about a hundred bucks. And uh, they do really well. These ones I raced on Sunday in the Super and the Sprint in Ohio, which was muddy as can believe. And uh, this goes to show you that they're pretty easy to keep clean. You know, you take care of them. The next day, you know, I pulled them out of the back of the truck clean them inside and out. They did really well. The uh, drainage is awesome on them. You know, they got drain spots on them. The soles are pretty dang good. Uh, really good for gripping the hills, even uh, in the most uh, wettest conditions, the muddy wet, I was able to just really kind of grip and walk right up whatever was in front of me. The uh, Pretty easy to clean. Comfort was good. Although I did buy some uh, carbon insoles to put in them. Instead of just going with the basic, you know, sponge one that's in there, which is really just kind of weak and flimsy. There's not much to it. I put the carbon one in there and ran with those in it and felt super, super great. Uh, even on downhills, my toes felt real good on the front end, my big toe. Um, there's literally no wear and tear on that, even despite just going through nastiness. You know, these hold up really good up on the front, the toe. It's not separating by any means. The sole's not separating anywhere on them. Uh, everything seems to be held up really good, despite two pretty nasty, muddy races going through water, rocks, downhill, uphill, you name it. Uh, so I was quite impressed with the, the Spartan sponsored shoes. My only negative that I noticed was uh, the wet ropes on the, the rope climbing. Right here, there, there's literally, even though you see something in there, under dry conditions, those seem to work really well. But when the rope was wet, I mean, I pulled myself up. I, I was able to reach up to high ground to be able to pull myself up, but trying to lock my feet in with this part of the sole had no success at all. I actually 
had more success, you know, with having some of those nodules and linking in and grabbing on those. Whereas the same thing with the Kings, you know, right there in the middle area where there's a little bit of a bite to dig into. So I had great success with those shoes, unlike the Spartan ones. Uh, these guys, these were pretty awesome. I raced these in the Beast uh, on Ohio on Saturday. These are the uh, Speed Cross 5s. I got them through Amazon Try, so I haven't even bought them yet. And uh, look at them. I mean, they, I went through all that mud nastiness and all that, and overall, they're, they're practically, despite a little bit of uh, graying on the tips, super clean, cleaned really well. Probably the most cushiony, very comfortable OCR shoe that I've worn. I mean, putting them on felt really, really good. Uh, just uh, using, you know, the, the quick tie was awesome. They have orthopedic type cushion insoles. I mean, they clean really, really well, even on the inside. Highly recommend these. Uh, they were a little bit more. These were like 139 on Amazon. A lot of people recommended them. They drained well. They ran well. I did notice a little bit of crowding on my big toe on the downhill in there. Uh, but other than that, felt really, really good. Holding up wise, I don't see any breaks or any uh, issues of wear and tear on them despite going through all the nastiness of the water, the mud, the rocks, the downhill, the uphill, all that. And these got significant more miles grinding through and yet they look brand new Solomon cross, Speed Cross 5s. So Super Shoe, I think those were great. The Spartan Shoes, they really did their job. They were super comfortable. Didn't like the rope climbing on them under wet conditions. These guys, I think uh, the Ultra Lone Peak 6s are great. They're usually always having them on sale. They drain well, they run well, they grip well. They climb ropes well, but for whatever reason, that zero drop, I think I was just used to a lot of road running and switching to zero drop dramatically fast to do the Fayetteville Ultra pounded on my knees. But I think having a carbon insole insert in there would dramatically uh, raise the game on these shoes. So I think these are really good as well. Come on, Spartan, go back. We love these Ultras. You guys got to go back to these shoes. See, mine's wearing out. I got holes, you know, the, the fabric's finally going out. These shoes, even though they're dirty, they'll clean up really good, but they're just, they're getting old, they're getting worn out. I don't have any more pairs. And I think these probably have about 30 races logged in them. And yet the front toes, awesome. The soles still locked on real good. No glue separation. Comfort's really good. Grip's really good. Drain's really good. Uh, the soles or the the bottom of the shoe is held up really good. Nothing's breaking or separating or cracking. Fantastic shoe if they're taken care of. So that's uh, that's four different shoes, ultras. The uh, I think these are crafts. Is that what these are? I think they're crafts. Yeah, they're the craft Spartan shoes, Spartan sponsored shoes. Held up awesome. So they all got their little idiosyncrasies. It's just really about figuring out which shoe you like. I've never raced Solomons before. I raced a beast in them day one, right after getting them in the mail and uh, felt great in them. No after effects, great shoe. Enjoy.